All right, guys, so this is like a little reveal. I wanted to show you guys the new project. It's a, uh, my voice is kind of deep right now because it's early. I just woke up like 40 minutes ago. But yeah, uh, this is a 1989 Ford F-150 uh, Super Cab Long Bed, meaning there's a back seat, could fit probably four to six people, and it's got an eight foot bed. So this thing, the uh, video doesn't really do this thing's uh, justice. You could almost fit the Acura between uh, the wheelbase. It's pretty nice. Big truck. Definitely uh, something that could uh, do some serious work. It could haul, it could uh, tow. Uh, you could do a lot of crazy stuff with this thing. It's nothing special as far as uh, going wheeling because it's a uh, uh, rear wheel drive. So uh, yeah, so as far as like 4x4 action, it's not gonna happen but this thing is uh, pretty dope nonetheless it's an automatic it's got uh, the 5.0 V8 which is a uh, 302 uh, cubic inch and uh, yeah it's pretty sick it's dinged up it's solid um, this is a repaint it used to be white it was painted in the late 90s and uh, really never taken care of after the paint job I, I believe it was like taken care of for about three or four years after it was painted and you're looking at a paint job that's just never been washed or waxed or anything for almost 20 years um this thing is uh it's a beast but due to uh being independent front suspension it handles the road really nice drives like a cadillac pretty smooth and uh Let's take a look inside. Yeah, this is your typical uh, Mexican blanket. Straight from Mexico over the border. You can't find that anywhere over here. And uh, crank windows. Everything's just heavy duty in this thing. No airbag. No tack. Uh, Ford original um, radio, which plays like better than any radio I've ever owned. I can't really believe it since the antenna up there got uh, broken off. The radio still plays amazing. Yeah, so since it's a super cab, it's got uh, rear back seats. And don't worry, this is not my junk except for that uh, shade right there. I'm going to end up cleaning this. This is totally untouched. Like, I have not done anything. I have not turned the bolt or nothing on this truck. So what you see is really what I got and it will be uh, a major improvement after a little while after once I start cleaning it and you know assessing the damage and stuff but actually this rear section is my favorite part of the truck because um, I'm kind of like claustrophobic I mean you might be like oh you're claustrophobic in a little Acura but the Acura is a hatchback and it is longer than Civics inside and it doesn't have like a back seat you know, it's more like, I find it bigger. And trucks, um, this one, you know, it doesn't have your rear window right here. And I kind of feel like whenever I'm in a pickup truck, I'm cramped right here. And then right behind my head, I have a window. Yeah, well, this one, you can fit people. You can put groceries. You can put tool supplies, anything you want back here. And uh, you still got a window, you know, two feet back there, which is amazing. But typical headliner sagging um, I've done a lot of research on this truck but I'm not really gonna like go too far into detail because I don't want to make it seem like I know about these trucks since I don't but I've learned a lot about them in about two two and a half weeks already that I've been having it and uh, it's pretty sick pretty crazy trucks like these things are usually just like the workhorse like farm trucks they haul they tow um, and yeah, like these things just get beat up. The only damage that thing that this really, really has exterior-wise would probably just be uh, here, where they slammed into them into a uh, like a truck, 
slammed into them, the tailgate. But this is very, very typical for these things to get, um, you know, all uh, messed up because construction supplies and tools were loaded back here. So these are the first things to go. The box corners are nice and uh, square. So yeah, so it's the tailgate, that corner, and right here. I guess you went off like a little ditch or something with like, I yeah, scraped it up or something. Uh, it needs tires, but I'm gonna get really all into that on the second video. And I'm gonna get really, really uh, into detail, like what it needs, what um, like my plans are, um, upgrades, uh, modifying it, and little odds and ends like that. But I don't want this video to be like too exploding long and stuff but yeah there she is and man I love this thing it's pretty nice I really never had anything this cool before just like small little cars and yeah it's got uh, a spare right there it looks like that's kind of uh, leaking right there but yeah so these wheels not really digging the wheels but Definitely something that could be uh, upgraded. It sits right now, so you're gonna find webs all over. But yeah, um, I would open the top, but it's chained down right now. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have to like do like get messy and everything, even though I'm already dirty just by looking at this thing. All right, guys. So this is a little bit later on in the day. And uh, this is the engine. It's got your typical uh, oil leaks and everything. Valve cover gaskets look like they're done. Oil pen's done. Right there. Pretty cool. It's got a good battery too. I'm just gonna put this in the clip because uh, I would want to see the engine too. But yeah, so that's that chipping paint. That's the original color right there. So yeah, so it has like this, uh, this air flow that goes in there. I want to change the filters. Seems pretty cool, cool little setup. It's got good low end power. Not fast, uh, but quick off the line for what it is in the weight. It's got AC, that's pretty cool. Right there, you charge it up. Um, I'm gonna do a, a video on the motor, the blower motor. Uh, it just makes a squealing noise, so I'm gonna take it out, lube it up, and uh, get it going. If anything, I'll just replace it, but I know a little bit about motors, electric motors and stuff, and I could clean up the brushes, take it apart, put it back. We'll check it out. Oh yeah, so. Uh, onto the other clip yeah so I'll get more in depth with it this is the only wheel that's different there's only uh, three aluminum wheels so that's kind of a bummer because if I wanted to sell them I really can't just scrap them since there's only three but yeah um, one thing I kind of want to note about this truck though is that like the front end on the previous generation there was a, a signal here and a headlight here and a marker here and the fenders, hold on, this thing's like, that's police right there, ruining my video. So yeah, so the fenders are kind of like chopped on the previous generation and this right here is not here, it's more flat and the next generation, it's just basically a square headlight and this is integrated here and you know it looks a lot more modern and nice but this is like uh the generation in between that actually got this big hood that came up right here like this big gap like you know and uh they took this away for uh aerodynamic you know like uh because it's not that aerodynamic so they made it better for the next generation but I believe this is the uh, the one that really nobody likes. They always upgrade it. And to be honest, I like this big amber light. I like these big lights. I like this grill. 
So it's kind of like the ugly duckling out of the F-150s, like so far, like from the forums, like what people think. Um, I like this version the best. This is like, yeah, and this light is actually different than that one because it doesn't have the little chrome piece, but yeah. So I'm going to stop walking around this thing. Um, I'm going to do, yeah, I can't really get in there that good. But yeah, I'm going to do another walk around and more in-depth tour of it, driving video. Just a little stuff here and there before I start working on it. This is a project for 2018. So I'm going to continue on the Acura, just do little odds and ends and uh, on that. And then I'm going to get started on this. But this thing is a beast of a truck. It's pretty nice. But yeah. All right, guys. So I'm going to let it off right there. Uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. What do you think? Um, because I was kind of like up in the air with it. I wasn't sure if I should really like dig deep in you know a project like this because it does need work. It does have one major issue actually, and I'm gonna uh, get into all that in my next video. But it does have a major issue with it. It runs and drives and stops fine. Just to tell you that, you can drive it and it shifts. Engine transmission rear end is good, but it does have a major issue. But I'm just gonna leave that out there. So. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment, and uh, let me know what you think about it, guys.